Okay, so I just uh, really quickly want to show you this this app called Tiny Scanner, which will help uh, teachers and students. Let's get into this, and I'll explain a little bit more as as we go. But um, so uh, it's available on Androids and and iPhones. Okay, so you're just going to want to go to um, search Tiny Scanner. Okay, there is a pro version, which I do recommend, and I'll I'll explain why a little bit later. And so, uh, yeah, download it, accept the terms. Uh, I've been using this for years, so no worries there. Allow um, Tiny Scanner to access the photos on your phone. So right here at the bottom of the screen, uh, you actually have the option to take a photo, which I'm doing right now, or import a photo, okay? So I'm taking a photo of a worksheet, and, and then you, so the app itself, tries to recognize what you want um, but you have the option to crop okay and so that's what I did there I chose what I wanted to have scanned and so right now I'm just kind of playing around with the the different gray scales just to see which one I like best and when you know I think okay this one looks good uh, I can hit that little check mark in the bottom right corner uh, I can also uh, press on the photo icon and it gives me the option of just um, turning the regular photo into a PDF or going back and making a scan. There's also some color scale there this in that bottom left corner um, and if there were color on the worksheet um, it can kind of do some funky things with color but um, okay so then I chose what I wanted I give it a name Okay, and so now I can either save that or do exactly what I did there, and that's add a page. Okay, and so I take a photo of my next page, and I'll go through the same process of, of choosing the portion of the page that I want to actually scan. So um, even if there's only a small portion of that worksheet that I want to be in the PDF, I have that option of cropping the rest out. And so again, I want to add a third page, so I hit that photo on the bottom. And a third page gets added. And so you can add as many pages as you want. So students, you know, needing to submit five pages of work, instead of sending five separate files, five separate photos, we can import it as one PDF file with five pages. Okay, and so there's the three pages. And so when I'm ready, I just have to share it so in the bottom right corner there's your little share icon and there are limited options okay so in this case I'm gonna have to email it to myself or open it somewhere else open it in a different folder um, with the pro version you have the option to save directly to Google Drive which is what I usually use it for okay um, so I mean free one it's it's not a big deal you can just email it to yourself and do what you want with it from there so I find it very useful. Um, I, I use it in class all the time and hopefully uh, you or your students will find it useful. Okay, thanks for watching.